I wanted to show you guys this too. Look! Oh my gosh! There's like three of them right here opened up. One over here, one up here, one up here, and one up there. Oh my gosh! These are so pretty! Look at these. Passion flower, guys. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. And look how many is going to open up. Like a whole bunch of them. So there's one right there. Another one right there. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. Look how pretty these are. I'm trying to show you, but they're all like together here. Look. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? And then there's one opened up way up there. So I'm going to have to just take this. I thought I would take some cuttings off this tomato with the passion flower through it. Let me move that real quick. Sorry, y'all. Passion flower likes to kind of grab on. Because this just isn't going to work until I get this dehumidifier hooked up and all that. Gotta get more electricity out here. Let me pull that through. Because this condensation keeps falling on this but sorry about that I'm not meaning to throw y'all around I'll finish doing that tomorrow I'll pull that out and then just pull this tomato out let's go uh, sorry my hands are really dirty I'll just yank all that out and take some cuttings off of it and I'll let the passion flower grow right there and then in this whole area I think I'll do amaranth However, look down here. Look at these tomatoes. Now there's a little bit of condensation issues, but the darn thing is everywhere. Like it's so big it's fall, falling over and it's growing upward. It's like a tomato, look at that. Wow. And it's got blooms on it. It fell over and I didn't catch it. It's growing this way and up. Wow. So all these look like they're doing pretty good. They're just... Uh-oh. This looked like it got knocked down and broke right here. But I can take it and cut it and put it in water and it'll be good to go. So I definitely still need to get in there and trim up the lime tree. But look at this tomato. My goodness gracious, look at It's like going this way too. <laughs> wow. That is a massive tomato jungle plant. Got go all the way up. Sweet. <laughs> I definitely might just let this grow. I don't know yet. So I've moved it, some stuff. The uh, I think this is not doing too good. It got broke. I'm going to pull that out and plant that outside. But I'm going to let the echinacea grow and right in through here. And then get the eggplant out of here. Uh, this whole area, I solarized it pretty good, but I missed a few spots and it dropped down really cold last night in the 30s. So I had to bring this, um, oh my goodness, a uh, butterfly plant. It's a butterfly bush in. And anyway, I've got to pull all that out and go ahead and use the fennel and the swiss chard and then pull all these out and redo this area and then right in here where this amaranth is 
Ooh, that's not where I want it. The amaranth will grow in those big rows instead of the tomatoes. Or I can put it over here. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. The amaranth gets really big, so that area would be better. Got some watermelon plant in here, and I had to move all... My, my son helped me. We had to move all this back in here. I saw some monarch butterflies, so I pulled all that out, and then it got really cold. And those are tropical, so I had to pull it all back in. Anyway, I wanted to update you on that and show you the passion flower, and I will catch y'all later. Wendy at Hardneck Farms.